you may be owning properties in India. As part of property documentation, you may have certain legal documents such as sale deed, occupancy certificate, mother deed, tax paid receipt, allotment letter, encumbrance certificate, building sanction plan, etc. However, in my tax practice, I have noticed certain very important documents for tax purposes are missing as part of documentation. In this video, I would like to cover three such important documents which are rarely available with property owners. One, receipts against each payment. Usually in case of NRIs, they would have done a transaction with the builder and once the transaction is over, the builder would be sending the installment amounts, whatever is due via mail or message and the NRIs or even residents would be making the payment based on the installments. Once the payments are done, usually the buyers are not collecting receipts, a formal receipt which is given in this video kind of thing is not collected by them. So this receipt is very important document for tax purposes. Secondly, after all the payments are done, one has to ask something called a statement of account, SOA from the builder. This document is nothing but a ledger extract of your account with the builder. This will give a chronological order in which the demands are raised by the builder in installments and the payments made by you at regular intervals showing the date of payment, the mode of payment, the instrument number and the amount paid. This is a very important document for the purpose of computation of cost of purchases while calculating the capital gain tax. And the third important document which I would like to mention is possession certificate. What I have observed in case of NRIs and OCIs, they usually delay the registration of the property by an year or two. But for the purpose of computing the holding period for capital gain tax purposes, a possession certificate will come handy. So as soon as the building is ready, the property is available, please make sure that you collect the possession certificate from the builder and keep this document along with your other property documents. There are many other documents which are uh, very important, which I will take up in the subsequent videos. For now, should we discuss more on this, whatever I have discussed, you can always write to me at simplifiedlast20 at gmail.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get regular updates like this. Thank you.